Honorable Judges, Guests, Officers, and Fellow Cadets, we are representative from number 2 COP Squadron. Today we are going to present the topic, ground to air, air to ground emergency signal, including lighting and power techniques. I'm Singh. I'm Felix. I'm Rani. Our presentation will begin now. You are going to have a scenario exercise. Your task is as follows. Your aircraft has crashed in friendly territory. You survived, but the radio communication equipment has failed. Your mission is to draw attention and get rescued. Now, what would you do? Corporal. Yes? I would first hit Tom and current position. It is because the crash site can be seen more easily than a single personnel. Good. What's next? Uh, we can construct a sig signal path, for example, burn a tree. We can burn some small green branches to produce more smoke to draw attention. That's right. Remember to select isolated trees so that you will not start a bush fire and endanger yourself. A safer method to draw attention is using a mirror as a signaling device. We can use it to reflect sunlight to the horizon so that someone can spot us. That's correct. You can keep scrapping the mirror even if there is no aircraft or vehicle inside. Mirror flash can be seen for many miles. Mm, what if it is at night? Yes, Benny? You flash lights to send emergency signal. Felix, could you tell us how to use flashlights to send emergency signals? Yes, Crawford. We can use flashlights to send the Morse code signal for distress, that is SOS, by making a sh free short blast, free long blast, and follow that with free short blast. Let's look at the demonstration. First, here comes the first short blast. and then three longer brass and followed by three more soft brass At the same time, I would keep alert for any light, sounds or signs which may mean a rescue party is on its way So, if you got spotted and rescue party is heading your way, what would you do? I would keep signaling frequently and stay in my current position to until help arrive. That's correct. Moving around in the dark may increase your chance getting injured. So stay calm and preserve the battery as much as possible. Yes? We can use flare too. Uh, what is flare? Pay attention, Phil. Flare is a type of power technique that produces brilliant light and Heat without exposure, while red flare and orange smoke flare are used as distress signal. When you spot off any distress signal, you must presume someone is in great danger and require immediate assistance. The pur purpose of using distress flare is to raise alarm and to locate the emergency. I would deploy orange smoke flare when I spot off any aircraft or vehicles on the horizon. Why would you choose orange smoke flare instead of red flare? It is because red flare may be indistinguishable, and orange smoke flare will be more visible in daylight. Mm -hmm. And the first flare is to draw attention. The second flare is to is to confirm the emergency and locate my position more precisely. That's correct. Remember, flares are dangerous as it contains active explosive chemicals. When you use a flare, you must be unstrap and point the flare to downwind position so that the hot jonas will not pass onto your body. So if you have no flares, no survival kit, what else could you do? In this case, we can use ground to air emergency code symbols that can seen from the ground. 
the symbols are used to convey simple messages to other parties. The symbols can be made in si simple materials, such as rocks, branches, or anything you can find. These are some ex examples. So this SOS is the internet signal for distress. We have also other examples. Feelings, what does that mean if you if we use a X signal? It means we use medical assistance or power and arrow signal, which means the aircraft can proceed to this position. Or power wish signal, which means we need assistance. So if the aircraft has Spot our signal and understood what would the aircraft do? What do? If the pilot has seen and understood the signal, he or she will respond like this. complete right hand circle. It means the pilot didn't understand our signal. Hmm, let's have a conclusion. So when you get out of a uh, crash site, the first thing you need to do is stay calm to the crash site because it is more easily to be seen than a single person. Felix, what methods do we have to draw attention? We can simply build a signal fire or using a mirror to reflect sunlight to the horizon. We can use flashlights and flare to to draw attention to. Okay, what if we want to convey some simple message? We can use ground to air emergency code. Hmm, good. I believe you two are ready for the scenario exercise. Cast this miss. Bravo! Thank you. This is the end of our presentation.